Hi everybody, good evening. Dom here from Essential RC. I know I'm on half an hour earlier than uh, than advertised and that's because I'm going to have a little play around with the Spitfire. Before we actually get going with our regular MB339 Eurofighter Typhoon type trips, because I got hold of this a couple of days ago and I haven't, I've, I've done a couple of videos of it that I've uploaded to the Essential RC YouTube channel but I wanted to have another go with it on live stream. So uh, we'll be doing this for the next half hour until about seven o'clock. So let's uh, just get the Discord sorted. I'm on the I'm on the live Discord, that's all good. Um, hello to pilots listening in. So I'm flying out of Shoreham. If anybody wants to join me, Shoreham is on the south coast of the UK, uh, just north of Brighton. <clears throat> so let's get this show on the road. Okay. Oops. Let's hope my track IR behaves itself this evening. It doesn't always. So this is the cockpit for the for the Supermarine Spitfire, this is an add-on that you will be able to buy from Friday. Can't tell you how much it's going to be, I don't know, but you're going to have to, if you want to get hold of it as early as possible, then it's going to be on the Flying Iron Simulations website. They've done a, quite a few other add-on aircraft for other simulators. I think this is going to be their first for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So. Uh, anyway, the 12 steps to starting up the engine. So let's uh, do that. Parking brake has to be set. Uh, I like these checklists. You can click 
on the little eyeball and it tells you where it is so uh, it's definitely on tick All good and we can go to battery battery took me ages to find I have to say um, even if I did that it wasn't obvious to me where it was and you know where it is it's there <laughs> it's uh, under the throttle and actually you don't even have to click it you can't click it actually it happens by you moving the throttle over it <laughs> they don't tell you that in the manual I'm telling you so you don't have to if you look in cockpit uh, the Spitfire cockpit layout it's over here according to the annotated layouts that you see anyway prop control forward check prop control forward fuel tanks fuel tanks oops on. fuel tanks are on Mixture idle cutoff. Uh, I think it has to be initially back here, and then we move it forward down here. Mixture idle slash cutoff. The throttle needs to be half an inch forward. Throttle open one half inch. Check wobble pump <laughs> unusual thing uh, name for it um, but what we have to do you see this fuel pressure warning this is to pressurize the fuel tank so until that red light goes out oh, and normally it takes a couple I wonder if I've gone wrong with that over there yes okay so that goes forward Tick. Fuel pressure warning light extinguished. Excellent. We're nearly there. Primer. So we're priming the carburetor, I think, with fuel. So it says as required. I just give it a good five. Inject some fuel into the carburetor. Start and boost the coil covers. Starter slash booster coil safety covers. Open. Mixture fully forward. It is. Mixture. Auto full FWD. Last step before we start is switching on the magnetos. And then we're good. Uh, and then we can start and that is this button here actually in reality you have to press both the booster and the starter at the same time but <clears throat> now in reality starting the glorious Merlin engine there's a when you see it start up and I have seen uh, Merlin's start up very privileged to see Spitfires and Lancaster bombers start up you see f spits of flames and smoke out of the side of the exhaust stack um, they haven't done that yet and uh, but I have been they they are conversing with them over email and they are going to do that in the future so we're all started up and ready to go so while the engine is warming up let's just I should have checked out the YouTube chat. Let's pop that out. Do, do, do. Bear with me. So, hi, Amarok. Amarok will be joining us from flying, I'm sure. Oscar, Fry does stuff. Uh, and Thomas. Okay, thanks for joining us. Alright, so back into the. 
I did fry dust stuff is asking when are you doing more RC plane vids I, I uploaded one this morning check the discord Amarok's telling me looks all right to me I haven't unmuted anybody yet if that's what you're asking uh, uh, except for Jason Jason's joined us now Jason how are you doing Jason should be with us parking brake off rudder hard over So I'm at Shoreham if anybody is interested in joining in. I hope I'm on the west server. Should be. Unless I, I didn't check that. I hope I'm not on the wrong server. Amrock, could you tell me where I go on the debug menu to check which server I'm on? Could you type that into the Discord chat for me? If you know. break on. I don't know how you do it on this console aircraft selector. I don't know. Somebody said you could check which server you're on. Oh, uh, no. Don't know. I think I'll unmute Amarok, you're unmuted if you want to tell me how I check what server I'm on. Because otherwise I don't know. But anyway, we're officially starting at 8. We've got 20 minutes just to do a quick fly in the Spitfire. So this is not easy to take off. Especially if you're not pointing correctly down the runway. So first thing I have to do is put a lot of right aileron in, but it's still going to be tricky. Alright, here we go. No flaps, we don't use flaps for takeoff in a Spitfire, so full throttle. And correcting, oops, N not brilliant, not brilliant, but that was okay. Could have been better. Throttling back. And then we have to trim out for level flight. We have to take out that right roll. So if I take hands off, it's it's certainly not flying level put in some left trim now then I put in too much there we go it's better so you let go and it should be flying more or less level let's go back to the discord Chris Cone. Northeast FPV. I'll mute everybody else in a little bit. So I might not be on the West Europe server. I didn't check, but I will be for eight, eight o'clock.
Oh, there we go. Eurofighter Typhoon. It's Amarok. Commander Amarok. He hasn't been with us the last few, so uh, good to have you with us, Amarok. So uh, the I-360 there on the left, been up that a few times. This is Brighton on the left, and we've got Brighton Pier coming up. Don't like fairground rides myself, I've not been on any of those. Alright, so I'm, going, I'm trying to catch you up, Amrock. Subtitles. What are you talking about, Jake? Is it my southern accent? Come on, Amrock, get on my wing, man. Never does things simply, does Amrock? Inverted. White Cliffs of Dover, I think, are... That's Dover on the left, I think. I think the White Cliffs of Dover are just around the corner. Or maybe that's the White Cliffs of Dover. So I know we fly, we generally fly with zero wind, don't we? You get some brilliant wave effects if you turn up the wind. Don't know if you're aware of that. So if I go here and I go to my wind layer. Have you seen that before? Look at the... I mean, that is probably what the uh, the sea is more like at the moment. Certainly a lot more realistic. So... What was that? Uh, 79 knots. Let's take it down a little bit. <clears throat> so there we go. So let's find somewhere to land now. Although I think I can probably just choose a field actually. I'm not too fussy.
Jake, how are you? And Neil should be with us as well. Hope they can hear me. Oh, oh maybe not. I don't think they're hearing my audio. That's a problem. Voice, voice. It's not pushed to talk. Automatically detects sensitivity. It's not doing that. Input. Oh no. I don't think my mic is working for some bizarre reason. Hello? Test, test, test. No, it is. It definitely is working. Should be working now. I don't know what I did there. Neil, how are you doing? Can't hear you. Might have to sort out my headphones as well then, if I can't hear you. Right, so I'm going to land. Let's do that. Right, test. Oh, there you go. Gear down. Can you hear me, Jason? Yeah, loud and clear. Oh, good. Okay. Well, it was I had a problem. Okay, flaps down. Bit of a crosswind. Let's land in this field over here. It's a hill. I didn't realise that. It's like a ploughed field as well. But I'm down. Alright, there we go. So that was a quick flight on the new Spitfire that's coming out on Friday from Flying Iron Simulations. Back to the main menu. For some weird reason, my audio was working over YouTube, but not on the Discord, but sorted now. Right, so uh, our starting point, let's just check server. Ah, oh, it was on the North Europe server. That would be the problem. Um, we're going to Monument Valley, which is UT25, runway 34. Uh, anybody joining us on Microsoft Flight Simulator, you need to be all players on multiplayer and live traffic and choose your own weather. Let's fly and see who's turned up. Sometimes midweek sessions are really, 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 really busy. We had over we had about twenty five pilots last Wednesday, and then less at the weekend. Kind of strange. I think Jason and I were both surprised at that. Impaler, Al's with us. How are you doing, Al? Yeah, pal. All right, mate. 
Oh, hold on. I didn't choose an MB33. I didn't choose my MB339. <laughs> I was still... <laughs> Good evening, all. How are we doing? Hey, Neil. Good, thanks. Oh, it's working now. Um, I was playing Flight Sim last night because it because someone said, oh, you've got to update it. It's like, okay, I loaded it up. It updated within the app. I'm loading it now. It's like, oh, now you need to update it from, from Windows. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, weird. I, mean, I find there's more updates, but um, yeah, so I'll be on soon. Okay, cheers, Neil. Can I just try a mic test, please? Check. Mic test. Got that. Oh, thank, you. thank you. You're welcome. I will unmute others. I'm just going to select... Monument Valley and dial in, and I'm doing that now. And let's go to Discord. What were the codes for those? I'm sorry, UT25 Uniform Tango 25, runway 34 34. Badgers in the house, Chris Cone, Dom Hedge. Hedge, if you can't talk, it's because you need to set up push to talk. Yeah, I think I've got that. Oh, you got that now. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. My mistake. I haven't done push to talk before. But no worries. I will. I am now. No worries. You're in. Rob's on. Good evening. Good evening, sir. As is Stuart eighty nine B. Let's just change it's sunset in Utah at the moment. I don't like that. Let's change that. Okay, I think we're all running my end. Hey, Jason, how are you? Yeah, not so bad yourself. All right, are you streaming? I am indeed. Welcome to your uh, viewers. Uh, there's only one at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> More importantly, he's wearing his VR headset. Oh, yeah. no, don't start. I know I was going to have a rule. A rule for this stream is we're not allowed to talk about VR in any way, shape, or form. What am I? Who Jealousy am I? is not a pretty <laughs> colour on you. <laughs> I think we've got, like, four, four VR pilots in here now. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, I'm leaving now, then. <laughs> Let's see how many we've got on Essential RC live stream. If we're uh, competing, uh, it's definitely not a competition. <laughs> 40, 49, it's not that many. More. Oh, okay. Quick, all the dogs, if you guys just jump over to Twitch and watch me for five minutes so I can get the count for a second. <laughs> Does watching yourself count, Jason? <laughs> yes. That's why I've got one Is that viewer. the one viewer? <laughs> no, uh, I say everything's on manager at the moment, so I, I can't do my own stream because I'm in VR, so it doesn't, I can't look at ever screen. So, it, uh, genuinely, if you would rather watch on on Twitch, then you need to look up Inertia RC. And you will get the view from his um, his cockpit. Smooth flying, as always. We're just waiting for... Get a, um, a server confirmation as well, please. West Europe. West Europe. So I haven't had the uh, the latest hotfix download. Your special. Rob. Has anyone else not had it? Yes, sir. There was um there was definitely a couple of planes in North Europe. I've got a small technical problem, Dom. Shoot, what is it? We will do our best to help you. I think you can help. The problem is uh, when I drink my wine. My <laughs> My, my face track IR cuts out. <laughs> my wine glass gets in the way. I can help you drink your wine. <laughs> yeah, I need a straw. Oh, I was going to say, that's a straw. We should I get a big, like, painting about... straw as well. Oh. I think you need about 20 straws. The problems we have wine. to deal with on this live stream. It's interesting, because when I drink my beer, my plane rolls to the right. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we just get going before it gets any worse? Flaps down, brakes on, and we're going to power up, and we're going to let the engine stabilise for a few seconds, and I will count down to letting off the parking brake. So, parking brake on. Throttling up. 
spooling up the engine. Releasing on three, two, one. <laughs> Breaks off. Rotate. And gear up. Guess I should take off then. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh. I'm, I'm rolling. It's all right. Roll right. Flaps up. Flaps up. <laughs> <laughs> Sporting the red arrows theme today. Downloaded it. Lovely. Throttling back to two thirds. <clears throat> Let's turn off my webcam. So yes, we're in Monument Valley, Utah in the USA. We took off from UT25 on the West Europe server. Nice to see so many people. Yeah, good turnout. Did anybody do a count? No, it was a scramble on the, uh, there was no chance of counting that. All right, so a bit of follow my leader. So rolling, uh, banking right. Going straight ahead, you will see through the rock formation in front, there are two gaps you can pick from the narrow one or the wide one. Jake always goes for the narrow, the, uh, the narrow one. Woohoo! Some went over, some went through, well done. Okay, we're rolling right. What's your cruise speed, Dom? Is three is two seventy. I'll bring Thank it down you. to two fifty. At six thousand three hundred. Rolling right. Oh, we've got some good formation going on. Yeah, good, good. Whoa. Getting, it is busy. Nice. Leveling out. So, we're going to go uh, max throttle. And we're going to do a formation loop. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing. I'll meet you guys at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go, throttling up, full power. Pulling back on the stick on three, two, one, pull back. Over the top. Zero throttle on the way down. And pulling gently back on the stick. And back up to two thirds power. Not so close together now. No, it was um, it desynced a couple of times there. On oh, the did it? Uh, so we'll slow it down.
off the throttle. 270. I'm zero throttle now. Gliding. Every catch up. 260. Coming down to 250. Okay, back up to two thirds power. Oh, that's nice. Well done, everybody on it. Right. So we're going to do a roll, a slow roll to the right. Everybody ready? Three, two, one, roll. <laughs> I was doing that with the rear facing camera so that's why I dropped about 2,000 feet I was trying to do that sort of thing where I stay almost like attached and roll in formation but it's not that easy no it's not easy and with the dodgy rudder <laughs> it makes it even harder <clears throat> right okay we're going to roll down to the deck on the left that's as close as I can get with a mirror pass. Oh, that's managing. good. Good work. Rolling to the left in three, two, one, go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I followed you around. <laughs> Inverted. <laughs> yeah. Got a little too close in the end and vanished, but it was good for the start. Well. Only time for one thing. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> Thanks for giving me mine, Jason. It's already open. Uh, it's still monster again, though. Oh, really? Mine's uh, Hell's IPA. Oh, no, it's not an IPA. But... <clears throat> <clears throat> Rob, you get lost enough as it is. Do you think your drinking's a good idea? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be like, turn left and you just going to watch Rob fall out the sky. Right, throttling back, I'm coasting. Let everybody form up. I'll put the air brake out to take me down to 250. Air brake down! <laughs> brake back in. 250, 240. That's good. I've totally lost my bearings where we are, but never mind. We're in Monument Valley. I got <laughs> it. <laughs> Roughly that neighbourhood. <clears throat> All right. So let's um, Neil. Do you want to? We're going to be doing your trip, proposed trip next. Yeah, sounds good. And then after that, I think Amarak, Amarok had uh, a trip he wanted to do. And then we'll. That's not far off a diamond formation. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Oh, I saw your um, your your friend's FPV L thirty nine's down. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what happens when you don't decide who the leader is. <laughs> Did you in the in the clip I was watching? It looked like they were trying to catch one another, and that's always fatal, I think, when you're flying formation. One was heading yeah. left, one was heading right. Bang! It was all they were quite high, and it was all over very quickly, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a good it was a good merge. It was a good merge. Right. Okay. Let's see where the. Uh, Airport is. If, if anybody got any ideas, where the uh... need to uh, head north, northeast. Oh, left or right, mate? I hope. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need. A left or a right. Well, it's left or right, really. Is it a 180? I think I'd go left. Left it is. Left by how much? Uh, one and a half. What degrees? Well, whatever measure you want that gets you to northeast. 
<laughs> it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Heading zero three zero. All right. Doing my mark Apparently, mark one power. mark one <laughs> turn. Rate one. Rate one turn. A Mac one turn would be uh, too fast for me. <clears throat> right, that's about northeast. Couldn't even see it on the map. I think we flew a fair way out from it, to be fair. Yeah, we passed the airport a while ago. I have it on my one o'clock. Uh, you could see a nameplate, short round and Asian Corsair at above the airport. Thanks for that. Yeah, so it looks like it's to the left. I can see people on the ground. Breaking left, going full throttle. Copy that. Oh, uh, okay. Last, last one down buys the round. Hmm. I'm going to attempt to go into a flat spin above the strip. Mm-hmm. I think I've got down how to do it. Oh, it's the other thing. side. It's the other side, isn't it? Amrock was asking on. on the YouTube chat where we are. I hope he's heard. <laughs> yeah, right in the valley, yeah. Right, coming in. There's the strip. I'm gonna go vertical and attempt the flat spin. You what? I'm going for a flat spin. That's really low for a flat spin. Ah! Have you stacked it in? Uh, no. <laughs> There's a hit in the back. Yep, that was um, definitely a crash. Coming in a bit hot. Got that down. All right. So when you land and when you park up, please find a uh, a nice space so we can count how many pilots we have with us. Doesn't matter if it's on the right or the left of the runway. And uh, Neil is a dab hand with the drone camera. I'm sure he'll get a nice shot. Actually, we'll head over to the right, shall we? That would make more sense. On the right side of the runway. <laughs> oh, I've got some weird... Um visual artifacts on mine. When I turn on the airport POIs, I get these weird kind of Death Star domes around. Oh. around I feel like it's 
Say again. I think I got too close. No, no, it was me. I'll, uh, I'll move. Sorry. It is annoying when that happens, isn't it? Yeah, because you're going to leave a massive gap if you move. I'll, I'll park behind. Yeah, sorry. I'm going to do a rotate as well. I'll come round in payload, 180 degrees. Oh, actually, if that black one fills up, that'll be good. Is that right? Am I allowed to park there? Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, yeah. It's a pain display, though. <laughs> Oh, perfect, I'm going to change. <laughs> so you can play by phone now, can't you? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Air Combat Dog 7-Eleven. Jaff JC. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy B. How's Jimmy B? Good, can you hear me okay? Yeah, gotcha. Our, uh, our friend from Canada, Toronto, Papa Delta Bravo, is with us. As is Paul hey Thomas. How you doing? Great, how about you? Not bad. All right. Oh, I don't count. Let's all do uh, a quick count. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Three planes emerged on the runway. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Oh my word! It's a record. Yeah, we might have near close to. I think we got maybe twenty-eight. 20... I think once we hit we hit thirty, that's that's a that's a good goal. Yeah, that is a good goal. All right, brilliant. Uh, that was a good warm up, so now sh I will let you into a secret. We do actually have a qualified pilot with us with a private pilot's license. He's one br 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 172. <laughs> Neil, would you like to let us know where we are going next? <clears throat> Certainly. So, next we're going to um, Canyonlands Airport. So, if we go back to the menu, um, find the flight plan i load it up there is a flight, flight plan i put it in the discord text channel for flight plans if you want to get that and save that somewhere locally on your hard drive and then load that up you load that from the world map page and there is a load a load save button at the bottom and you can load it up sorry to interrupt you there neil it's okay Yep, so we've got um, Canninglands Airport we're going to go to next, so I think it's KCNY, but let's uh, let's load it up. Yeah, uh, KCNY is Canninglands, M-O-A-B. Runway 21. There's a Moab here. There's a Moab, yeah. Huh. Have you been to Moab? Uh, not the Moab that I'm thinking of. I wouldn't want to go to where a Moab is. That's the mother of all bombs, isn't it? It is indeed. Oh, that Moab. Oh, okay. Now if you load the flight plan, it set, it sets it as runway three, so we're going to have to taxi to the other end. But uh, no problem. You can't specify the runway on the flight plans. No, I was trying to do that. There must be a way, but um... I tinkered with it. I did try. It's a it's an XML file at the end of the day, but I couldn't. I was figure playing it. with a new new tool last night. There's a there's an app called um, Little Nav Map you can download. Yeah. It's, um, you don't have to install it in the community folder, it just it sits independently of that. Um, but it's really good for kind of flight planning. I, I did like three years ago. I use that quite regularly on uh, flying with VATSIM. Yeah, it seems very capable. It seems really good. I can't believe it's free. So where are we starting from? 3 or 21? 2-1. Two, one. All right, I have to come down the other end then. Okay. So anybody's at three off the flight plan needs to follow me down the other end. Hang on, I've got to in and then I'll... Don't forget, guys, as well, as you spawn, move forward, separate out, so we can see everyone on takeoff. And we're Roger. Not pile. 
I'm really glad I spent that hour downloading every single skin for the MB399 because there'll be so many Cessnas right now. <clears throat> I thought there was uh, one zip that you could download for that off... Uh... I couldn't that... find it, I could do each one individually. Oh my god. I could be getting a bit of a graphical glitch, that's weird. What, in your VR? Yeah. Hmm. don't know what that is. I can give you a link for track uh, for I, uh, track IR if you need it. <laughs> okay, shall I find them? <laughs> so I'm strolling down the runway on the other end, yeah? Yeah, we need to be at uh, 21. Which is where the hangar and all the buildings is and everybody else. <laughs> Amarok's treat me like I just use a curse word. Yes, yeah, so we can do a little tour around a few national parks. So we've got Arches National Park and um, Canyonland Park. It's a bit more kind of red rock. We're not that far away from um, Monument Valley, actually. Probably when it's flying time, something like that. And uh, we're going to fly down the Colorado River, which is upstream of the um, Grand Canyon. So we're kind of north and east of, of Page, where we'd normally start. So it's a different bit of red rock and some different national parks. Yeah. This is a hell of a long run. About a 20 minute fly on the flight plan at 300 knots. <coughs> yeah, flip here all the way down to the Grand Canyon or to, to uh, Arches that will take, take uh, Amrock's asking can you read the discord before takeoff alright um, give me a moat Amrock oh, if I can get it working really nice. on the chat <laughs> Amrock uh, would be would you be okay slitting at the end yeah yeah yeah, absolutely, Amrock. We could do that next. It's uh, you can do your your trip next if you if you want. Oh, thanks for the pictures, Neil. No worries. <laughs> Quite a few planes, eh? Wow. Wow, wow. Now you see the, the grey lines in the sky in those photos. I've got these weird grey mesh domes that have appeared over my airport. So I've got no idea what they are or why they're there. But uh, you can see them on my pictures. Anyone else seen that? Yeah, I can see. I've had them before, but I can't remember. I got rid of them. Looks like you're shooting through a oh, chain like fence. Yeah. It's just like the threshold for the uh, POIs and the airfields. Um, I can't remember. I got shot of them now. Is it, is it an option somewhere in the menus? Because I just turned on POIs <coughs> for the airport so I can see where the little flanks are. But okay, yeah, so I think we're uh, pretty I good. I think know. everybody's lined up. And uh, Neil is leading us on this trip. Expect everything to be very, very professional on this trip. He has a private pilot's license. <laughs> no pressure, Neil. Private and professionalism don't come into play. <laughs> so, I like to, to fly silly as well. All right, so let's um, throttle up. Um, parking brake off. I'm on 50% throttle. Rolling. Rolling. And full throttle in three, two, one. Let's go. So it should be about 30 of us. It's going to get crowded. Okay. 100 knots rotating. And gear up. Gear up and rotate. And flaps up. Alright, so first off we'll do a, a turn to the right. I'm going to do, do a U-turn actually. <laughs> so we start from the correct runway initially. Yeah, we did actually. I didn't want to say anything. I, I, I forgot everyone moving. <laughs> right from runway. the so start. Next time, next <laughs> time I'll know. Like, it's the first time we've, we've done this flight plan, but uh, I practiced a little bit last night, but it was about midnight. <laughs> So how much trouble do you get when you request clearance on one way and then use the other? 
Oh, this is all good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> He's lying. No way. That's like um, Harrison Ford when he landed on the taxiway. Oh, you mean if you if you if you ask for runway two one, you took off from three zero? Oh, that'd be a big problem. Yeah. <laughs> right. So what we're going to do? We're going to drop down into Arches National Park, which is not the, an important the, power. This is one. Oh no, my video just what? My game just stopped. What's happening? Your plane's still there. It's going down. Mayday! Mayday! Oh, oh, eject! Right click, eject! Right click on the screen. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Now. That's weird. It just literally froze for like you, five seconds then. Uh, so do you get? Um, sometimes you get that if you right click on the screen, and it goes up and it will freeze it for a minute. And I didn't click anything. I was just just flying. So I'm down. Yeah. Um, 50 percent throttle now, heading towards the uh, the first uh, waypoint, arches. And you can see they've put some little arches into the landscape. Actually, and this is not quite the same as the real thing, but. Um, it's all good fun. So we're following 172? Yeah. Great, thanks. So, I've pulled the power back a bit, so... Is it through the arch? That's definitely not a thing. It. I've not tried it. I'm sure it's possible. And the, then the next yeah. one is um, the delicate arch. It is entirely possible, no glitches. You can okay, go... Really? You went through the arch? Yep. You could probably fly through that rock, I imagine, then. Come on, Jake! Push it! Here we go. He's got his wheels down. What? Alright, it, it does that with a little glitch detect. Wow! We went through. So next we're going to go past the delicate arch. See so yeah, if you... Do a Google search for Arches National Park. You'll see pictures of these arches. Um, pretty impressive. I'm always interested in how how does that form? Is yeah, it... good question. So there's a there's a ton of, I mean, the rocks kind of um, in these. I think they're called oh. fins. These big long lines of of, of uh, rock. Oh, it looks like it's glitching again for me. Um, yeah, and then they've just decayed it. over time. They've just oh. kind of just uh, eroded You can away. go through that small one as well, by the way. Following through, and we're heading, continuing heading east, heading out towards uh, the Colorado River. Yeah, so it's glitching. I don't know if it's when there's lots of planes nearby, and if my PC is struggling with mm. all the traffic. But, uh, I've, I've lost visual on you. Um, heading east. I was on the same heading, same heading, past Delica Arch. I've got you. So heading towards uh, the oh, Colorado yeah. River. Um, so if you've got the map up, you'll see the, the river. Warlord on the left. There we go. On your right wing. So we're going to drop down close to the river and take a right, right turn down the river. It's like I say, if you follow this river long enough, you'd end up in the Grand Canyon. But uh, be, be a fair ride from here. And so I think the first few turns are, are fairly doable. We can follow the plane around. Some of them might be a bit tighter. You might have to kind of overfly some of the really tight like turns but uh, it's a nice course. Challenge accepted. <laughs> it, ca it can't be as bad as the Everest run. <laughs> it can't it's be. Bad. The Everest run is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the video of that. Oh, have you not done it yet? Well, I'm not with you guys. You know, on my own, but yeah. It, get, it gets interesting, especially when you've got this many people, because you start just seeing planes bouncing off the sides <laughs> of the map. <Yeah. laughs> I remember the last, the last time was hilarious. Al was right in front of me, Impaler, and he literally bounced off right into my face. <laughs> just oh, got a face, right, yeah. a face full of MB339. Yeah, I'm my own in an F-15, but I can't be quiet then, nobody else can. What throttle are we at? Uh, I'm at idle, sitting with uh, on, 172. Just... Uh, 50%, 295 knots. Cool. I 
Yeah, so one thing that's different about this canyon compared to the Grand Canyon, see the road down there, all the cars going along it, yeah, some houses. Mm. A bit more populated than the Grand Canyon. These are quite nice turns, actually, aren't they? Quite, quite wide and arcy and yeah. curvy. might be a, um, a good spot for some bush flying at some point. Absolutely. Yeah, really good. You can park up on the hills or down by the water. Lots of options. So we're going to go, uh, yeah, we're going to go overfly Moab, the town itself. So if you're a, a tourist in this area, come see the national parks. You can probably park up, you probably stay around Moab, a small town in the middle of the desert. So we're taking a left over the town. And heading uh, southeast. So heading towards the Sky Ranch uh, waypoint. And winner of today's name over in the distance is Godzilla Got You. <laughs> hmm. He's not with us, is he? No, <laughs> he's over there in the mountains. There always seems to be, you know, I haven't noticed really a particularly random name on our groups, but every so often we just see one flying past and it's like, okay. <laughs> Although I must admit, it was amusing when um, Badger came into the Discord and it was like a wild badger has appeared. <laughs> or Beef. Beefy? Is Beefy with us this time? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, it's a shame. Le Boeuf. Le Boeuf. I'm sure the residents wouldn't complain with this many jets flying over at this altitude <laughs> at that speed. <laughs> be a bit loud, wouldn't it? Now next we're going to pull up and uh, go over the hills and drop down to the next canyon. So apparently this area is called the Behind the Rocks Wilderness Area, looking at my map. It's a fairly accurate description. <laughs> Good name, isn't it? They, they, what they what it says on the tin. On yeah. <laughs> I can also see why they call this area Canyonlands as well. I mean, it's not like America to be literal with names or anything. It's not because of all the trees, isn't it? I have to read up on this. There's a national park called Grand Teton. Or Grand Teton, something. My friends in America will call it. I'll let you look up the meaning of that one. Alright, turning right down the valley. So yes, we'll follow this back to the river, back to the Colorado. We'll follow the Colorado a little bit, and then um, we'll take a shortcut back across some more canyons and head back towards the uh, the airport we took off from. We're about uh, about halfway along the route now. Looking good. That is nice. <laughs> There's an Amarok with a Mac 2 fly past. Of course. All standard though. Okay, going up over the rocks. And turning left, drop down to the river. 
Not literally into the river, but no, I mean. Right, you said it now. <laughs> <laughs> Another challenge. Another challenge. MB399 submarine. If I hit the walls, it's your fault. Let's get down close to that road. Buzz the, uh, buzz the cars. Oh, there's some cars following the hills. Oh shoot, I took the wrong river. Ah, that's a problem. We're afterburners when you need them. <clears throat> so I've got a turn to the left coming up. Nice big sweep, sweepy turn. Should maybe quite a tight sweepy turn. We need to get like, um, you know, the old horse race commentators for when we do one of our canyon runs. <laughs> no, this is. Ooh. Got about eight MBs right in Ooh, front. Nice, that's nice. So we'll follow the river for a little while. It looks like it's opening up a little bit here. So just enjoy the scenery. Oh, we're going to go past some potash ponds. Oh, yeah, yeah. They are amazing. Yeah. Very colourful. I was flying over the other night and then looking at it today, I was thinking, oh, well, that is. Um, so I'm just going to go a little bit higher so you can see the view. So just off to the right here, um, you've got these potash ponds. Oh, they're weird. What, what are those then? So I think they're big evaporation ponds. I'm guessing the the water, the minerals in the water here, must have a ton of potash, and they uh, somehow evaporate it out, and then just just harvest the the potash. <laughs> Quite colourful though, hey? Yeah. yeah. So for those following the, uh, the flight plan, the next waypoint's called Turn Right, just as a reminder to turn right. So we're going we're gonna to leave the river, we're going to follow up a different canyon, so we're going to head, head west. This should open out to a little canyon in a minute. Let's have a look. Oh, I'm going to drop up over the top, I think, and then we drop down into a canyon. Yeah, we're just going between a couple, two different watersheds right now. Um, so over this little rise, and then we're back down into another canyon. Should be fun kind of coming down this canyon. See how close we can get out without crashing. <laughs> That's what he says on every trip. We need to find some more buildings to fly through, don't we? Actually, you can fly under the Eiffel Tower. Have you tried that one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You got a co pilot with you today, Neil? Yeah, can you hear my seven-year-old? <laughs> yeah. I, I want to do that. I want to fly the tower. <laughs> so what sort of speed are you guys doing? Uh, 350 at the moment. So why am I on full throttle and just under 300? Got your air brake out, maybe? Landing gear down? Flaps down? Not, not that I can see any of it. Which MB are you in? That's the only other thing. One is slightly slower than the other. The one I'll with the... <coughs> I'm in the pan. Yeah, the pan is a little slower, but I'm doing uh, 364 in the pan. And... Oh, okay. You've stuffed, you've stuffed your engine. <laughs> yeah. 
Oops. What's that bird you hit on yeah, the well, down? What have I done to it? <laughs> I've got the thrust throttle regulator on, obviously. No, I'm yeah. losing you lot. Can't keep up. I don't know what's going on with that. I'll drop back to 50%. No, don't worry about that. It's now. my problem, not yours. We got, some, we got some tight corners to go around. I don't know why it's doing down. it. <laughs> So now just follow the river for a little ways and then uh, soon we'll, we'll turn out and head back to the airport. But, uh, yeah, we can just enjoy the scenery. Probably what it is is you have an Amer American version of it. Yeah, so it's like a million litres and 80 horsepower. <laughs> but it there's sounds really cool. It does, oh yeah. There's, there's nothing really that beats the sound, especially of a cammed V8. It's a real aggressive cam load on it, that is awesome. I, uh, a few years ago, imported a 64 Mustang. Had a what? very nice uh, 289 in it with the upgraded Holly carbs on it. You own it still? 289? I am. Um, uh, I owned it for about six months, and then I realised how expensive it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, well, they they pay a fraction of our, our fuel price over there. Oh yeah. Plus, getting parts was a nightmare. So I went to a guy in France who was dealing them. So went to a um, a car show, and there was a guy there with a '68 Camaro with a big block in it, and it was cams ported everything this thing had, like the engine was like chrome it was immaculate but the thing would sit there and if you blip the throttle it would then sit there on idle just wobbing away shooting fire out the exhaust <laughs> is that legal well technically is that a car show and he was static so yes oh okay but on the public roads can you do that on the public roads you can't technically use a flame kit if your car pops a flame then that's different i guess as long as you're below emissions, you're right. And if you're blowing fire out, then you're not below emissions. So technically, no. <laughs> right. <laughs> but there are, you know, like the Lamborghinis and GTRs and things, you know, they, they do, they just, on the, um, the way they do the overrun, they will overfuel a little bit to keep engine protection and uh, they will backfire. <coughs> All right, so the last waypoint is to, to turn out the River Canyon and head back towards the airport. So we're going to pull out. Um, actually, on this next corner, we'll, we'll come up, up and over and out to the right. So I've got a, uh, a waypoint which is six miles, six, six nautical miles out from the from the runway. So it should be good for us. Should be setting, setting us up for a perfect landing. You Good obviously haven't seen us land before. <laughs> Good trip, Neil. Not bad, eh? You're very no, good. Not bad, not bad. Oh, that one last night. The beauty. It's all a good mix of canyons with the scenery. It's all good. It's a little time just to do a formation, formation landing if you're up for the challenge. Copy that. Yep. Just off your left. I'll drop back to 50%. Right. On you. Oh, you yeah. say we're on runway heading now? We should be on runway heading, yeah. Okay, so when we come on the approach, call everything you do and aim for the right side of the line, I'll go left side line. Sounds good. Nice. Okay, slight, slight bank left into the into the. We should be on runway heading now, um, but heading straight towards uh, the airport. Oh, actually, looks like we're slightly off. I'm going to be uh, following you in, so I'm not I'm, really going to uh, be looking at where I'm going. I'll line up, <laughs> turn to the right slightly. Oh my God, this looks good. Lead formation of five, I think. Leveling out. Bring the throttle up back a little bit more. Forty percent. A six, seven. First flaps now. Ah. And left. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Got too close. Uh, 
four flaps in three, two, one. Throw okay. Idle. Three, two, one. Okay. Gear down. Three, two, one. I'm back on you. We're all on. Look at this. Whoa! Yeah, stay right at centre, aim for the numbers. Okay, right at centre, aiming for the numbers. It's a tight one, isn't it? A little bit far. Yeah, throttle idle, we should be good. I'm glad this in. Oh, this is a tight landing. Blimey, look at this. I have to move over left a bit. You're quite far right, according to me. Very right. Okay, I'm coming left. Air brake on. Okay. Touchdown. Hold the wheelie. Hold the wheelie. My gear's not coming down. It's weird. And nose down. Nose down in there. And brake. Look at that. Right, brake's on. Roll down towards the end and take the next, take the next turn. Okay. To the right, yeah. To the right at the end, yeah. Yeah, that's the main uh, part of there, isn't it? There's going to be one little man with his little baton trying to guide you <laughs> in 30 planes. Taxi, taxi way up. I tell you, that's still one thing I find a little bit confusing sometimes when you're at the bigger airports Keep and you're going. looking at all the taxiway signs. Yeah, you need a chart, really. I'm going to turn right and we'll park up. Oops. That was the handbrake then? <laughs> no. Just, just incompetence, generally. <laughs> When we um, go back to menu, it's worth doing a ping check on this server, I think. We might need to change to North Europe. Copy that. <clears throat> right, park up here. That was fun. That was very, very good. Yep, good trip. Enjoyed that. Yeah, thanks yeah. for putting that together. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you, everybody. Enjoyed that. I'm going to take my leave and try and work out why my jets have the speed of everybody else's now. Probably needs an oil change. Yeah, just get under the hood and change the filter, I think it needs. God knows what's going on with that. All right, cheers, Hedge. Thank you, everybody. All right, mate. See you later. Andy C is with us, as is Aunt. Kind of a shame we can't do a DCS eject all at once. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That'd be the, the ultimate in just everything would crash at the same time. Mm. Yeah, most of the open canopies now as well. You've got to do the old control shift E, shut your engines down. Oh, yeah. Proper parking. <laughs> Power down. Two guys on the ground are looking a little bit bewildered. <laughs> yeah. Anybody, somebody else can count this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 by the look of it. Oh, okay. There's a guy on top of me. Five, oh, Lord. <laughs> never said that before. <laughs> and you'll never say it again. 22. Yeah, 22. Okay. Well, just stay over 20 is something. <laughs> oh, dear.
Right, uh, Amarok, is Amarok with us? Amarok was very keen to do one of his trips and they're always very good. Otherwise we might have to do one of our own. Maybe we'll do the Everest trip if um, if Amrock isn't around and then <laughs> that might be enough for the evening. Uh, Amrock's, on, Amrock's on the uh, Discord. Amrock, are you with us? Because and he normally is a man of few words. He's saying yes on the YouTube chat. Oh, is he? All right. Well, can you give us details of the trip, please, Amarok? So, if everybody yeah. would like to go back to the main menu, thanks. When you're back at the main menu, I think it's worth changing to North Europe. Ping is at fifty-four as opposed to eighty-three. Now it's dropped to twenty-eight as well. North oh, Europe. No, West Europe's, West Europe's dropping actually. North Europe's jumping up. Okay, it's all over the place. Don't worry about it. Okay, it'll be all over the place. Yeah, just stay stable. I think. Southeast Asia looks good. 158. <laughs> I've got that at 183. Yeah, West Europe's sitting at the lowest consistently by the look of it now. <clears throat> so, Amrock, we'll give you a few seconds to let us know. Oh, okay. He's giving it to us. So, the takeoff is. EGPF Echo Golf Papa Foxtrot. Oh no, it's England. I hope it isn't laggy. What we got was a runway number. Uh, he doesn't say. Uh, let's call it nine for the sake of it being nine. Okay. Sorry, I just got a text. Missed the airport. We said runway two three. Runway two three. Runway two three. Okay. Yep. Which airport? It's uh, Echo Golf Papa Foxtrot. Glasgow. 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 And we're going to E G E O. Runway two three. Am I um, sounding any clearer today? Yeah, you are. Yeah, no, that's fine. I I bought a new headset because um, mm. the sound of my voice was really annoying me because it didn't sound. Like it just wasn't very clear. Uh, still annoys me. <laughs> <laughs> didn't see that one coming. I did. Setting them up. I, that, that's why I sort of started as soon as I said it. I'm like waiting for that to get picked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said land at EG29. Oh, no, he said. That's where we're going to. Yeah. yeah. So runway 23 for takeoff is good. I just hope it isn't normal England lagginess. Wow, up to 80 concurrent users and viewers. I had three earlier. I've got <laughs> two at the moment. I'm chuffed. Please help out Inertia, <laughs> Inertia RC and view on the uh, Twitch, his Twitch stream. You'd be helping him out. Oh, blimey, this is taking a while to load. You're like one of those um, those adverts, isn't it? Can you spare just one view a week? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to go back out back in to set my uh, route properly. Won't take me long. Hey, Amrock, watching the stream as well. How's it going, man? <laughs> Amrock is apparently everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> He's o omnipresent. <laughs> EGPF. Did we switch multiplayer servers? Oh, yeah, did we? We did, we did not. We're on West yeah. Europe still. Staying on West Europe. Yeah, cool. We're not West Europe. We had a server spike on the other one, so. Plockton. I just don't see anyone loading in at the EGPF. Runway 23, yeah? Yeah, correct. I see about 15 planes. <clears throat> I'm just loading in. What happened to Al? Is he still around? Uh, no, I think he's probably drunk too much by now. I think so. 
Impaler is still with us. He's just not saying a lot. <laughs> he tinkering with his new headset. He peaked too soon. <laughs> it's so many planes. Oh no, there's no one around me. <laughs> oh, so is you dumb? So, it, oh no, something's trying to materialise. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I see you now. That's good. Mm, I, don't, I don't see anyone yet. Uh, have a look at the uh, Discord, Dom. There's about. Oh, there we go. There's some people coming. There you go. Yep. Yeah, it took a few seconds to sink. Is the runway supposed to be dark? No, you what dark? No, you can change the time of day. It could be difficult to follow us if you've got it set as night. <laughs> All the fireflies, I suppose. Are we using live time or a specific time? Uh, I use I, every time I use midday in clear skies. Just to help with visibility. You do realise this is Glasgow, so that's not particularly realistic. <laughs> yeah, it should be raining. Overcast. <laughs> Everybody in? Anybody need to? Uh, is anybody not on the runway? Actually, live weather is not bad. That'll jinx it. <laughs> it's cool. It started snowing all of a sudden. It'd be really nice if you could actually set your weather in Flight Simulator and have that become the live weather. It would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Sunny in 80 degrees. All right, uh, Amarok. Commander Amarok. We are ready. I reloaded to see if there's something wrong. So uh, he's not going to be giving commentary, apparently, from the looks of it. Unless you'd really like to talk to a Sam Rock. Well, no, he's off. <laughs> he's off. He's off. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> this is more like a manhunt than uh, the uh, formation. <laughs> 100, rotating. I don't know why. He did actually... Uh, he did actually... Uh, talk on a live stream once <laughs> but never again oh, I've ever taken it there is Jason, you forgot to tell me to put my flaps up. <laughs> I'm in front, I can't. <laughs> the mirrors don't work. I should instinctively think it though after we take off. Just like <laughs> yeah, just, re <laughs> just remind me every single time. I still like that landing where you're about three feet off the floor and it's like, you know your gear's not down, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was funny. And I just about managed to hold off, so they came down. It feels really <laughs> wrong forming up on a dead stick Cherokee. Oh no. That's pulling away. Is he in the F-15? <laughs> he's in the I F-15. I don't know what he's in. He's in a dead stick Cherokee. <laughs> but the wheels are up and the flaps aren't down, which is good. It's just the pop ain't spinning now. Oh, you know what that is, don't you? It's it's like that that glider of a Spitfire from that Dunkirk film. Oh yeah. Anybody when's in? That, oh, sorry, say again, James. Just going to say, when's that Spitfire out for? Uh, Friday. Amazon? Friday. That is good. You're only going to be able to get it from their website. It's not going to be on marketplace for a while. Fair play. 
Is it good? Good to fly? I think so. It's not as hard as the DCS version, though. The DCS version is so hard to taxi and take off. Uh, you do... <laughs> it's a nightmare. But this one... Like <laughs> it is challenging to take off nicely, but it's not impossible. You do have to set in rudder trim and aileron trim to the right for it to take off reasonably level. And they did tell me yesterday there's going to be a clip wing version coming out as well. I think that's going to be oh, incl included a few weeks. I was hoping weeks. you were going to say that. Yeah. And the one thing I did, well, the one thing I don't like about it, and a lot of people have commented on the videos, is the start-up sound. Because if you've ever seen a Merlin start up, and I have done a few times on Spitfires and Lancasters, then it's the the in the sim it kind of just starts immediately, and they don't do that. They cough and splutter into life, don't they? For real. Yeah. I must admit, I, I've had this really weird feeling where where I haven't been at the tanks all year because of the virus. Not hearing that Leyland fire up is an unusual thing still. Mm. So what is that? A V10 or a? It's an inline. It's no inline. Hang on. No, no, it's not inline. It is. I've got to say the actual thing now because otherwise I forget. It's a 19 litre vertically opposed supercharged two-stroke six-cylinder. 19 litres. Oh my word. Yeah. Top speed. 40 mile an hour. <laughs> you wouldn't want to get it in the way of it. 55 ton. Yeah. Brief. But yeah, vertically <clears> opposed <throat> engine. So the pistons, it, it's, it's like an inline, but the, you, you've got, instead of having a, a, cam uh, a crankshaft and two cams, it's got two cranks and a cam. So you've got a crankshaft at the top and a crankshaft at the bottom, and they meet in the middle with a supercharger so big you can fit your fist in the screws. Like a reverse boxer. Yes, exactly like a reverse boxer. The, um, the main time you see engines like that now are in trains because they're long and tall, so they fit in trains. This is nice, Amrock. What lake are we over? A wet one. A wet one. <laughs> <laughs> they said together in perfect harmony. <laughs> is it a lake or is it a river? A loch, I'm sure. A loch. A loch. <laughs> 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 right, we've officially been streaming together for too long now. <laughs> yeah, they... <laughs> I tell you, we all end up meeting up to actually fly one time. It's just going to be abusive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just bring your VR headset, Jason. <laughs> I'll bring my FPV stuff. Yeah, oh, guaranteed. Through the trees. Yeah, I saw that. Amarok has a thing against squirrels <laughs> and physics. And a love for a Piper Cherokee. <laughs> I'm trying to look on the map for the name. I can't see what it is. But we're near, we're near Lock Arklet, just off to the right. Never been to Scotland. I don't know why. Uh, it's on my um, list of places. We, we're going to go up in a big car group at some point and go for a drive up there. Oh, I might be up for that. Count me in, I've got my lovely new convertible I'd like to, I could bring along. A lovely new convertible? Yes. What, you then you got rid of the Beamer? No, I've, no, I've still got, no, it's a Z4 convertible. Oh, right, it is the, the Beamer, right. I just got confused because he said lovely. <laughs> yeah, new, yeah. <laughs> I went to Edinburgh a few years ago and it's the most beautiful spot. Yeah. Great that would be a trip. You just got a new Z4, Dom. The pension must pay well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blow, blown the pension. <laughs> Live fast, die young. That's my motto. <laughs> was it? Wasn't it the new Z4 that was the one that was? Um, it had the recall on the wheels for breaking the alloys. Yeah, all right. 
Returning left, guys. Everybody, left turn. Oh, he does this. Good old Amarok. He just pulls the occasional 90 degree bank to make sure everybody's awake. It was like your original streams where it was like you do a maneuver 20 seconds later on the YouTube. Ah, we're going to go for a loop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before we had the Discord. <laughs> it was like after everything, please get Discord. Please get Discord. <laughs> I need to my gin and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> my monocle fell out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm in a record of four viewers. Thank you. <laughs> hey. Hey. Is that the whole family now, is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, Jason, I could put my kids on and double your view account. Hold on, my view my view account's going down. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, you saw nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're stealing them. <laughs> I don't have the um the six hundred K initial start up like no, you do. No, I am cheating, yeah. I did notice though, like you've got like what, another twelve thousand followers since we started doing streaming as well? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I mean, it's not necessarily because of the streaming, but still, like, <laughs> no. when we but when we started, you you just kind of hit the 600 mark. Uh, and yes. Now you're like 612. Yes. We basically made him, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. I owe you everything. Fast <laughs> <laughs> Spitfire. What? Fast <laughs> <laughs> Spitfire. You know, you know what the first the first flight's gonna have to be, don't you? We're gonna have to all fly over the channel. Yeah. Yeah. With Moabs. <laughs> I, I was looking for... Um, <laughs> and drop them on Paris. <laughs> Spitfire with Moab. It would never get off the floor. The wings would fall off. <laughs> I've still got that unbuilt Spitfire in my loft. I just ordered the flight line Spitfire that today. That is a beautiful model. Yeah, we're going to... Jason, uh, my buddy... The other Jason ordered one, and we're going to convert them to head tracked FPV. Oh, you, have you got a ground station? Model. Sorry? Have you got a ground station? Uh, no, don't need it with DJI FPV. Are they, um, oh, are, you, are they, what's it, uh, quad diversity, are they? Oh, I don't know. Uh, James. We've got four aerials, haven't they? So I'm assuming it's yeah. quad diversity. Yeah. Yeah, they still step. You still easily step on each other, um, so you've got to be careful. Yeah, I so say head, head track FPV is. It can be um, negative effects as you look away from the aircraft. You pull your antennas away, uh, uh, which is why having a ground station for that sort of stuff's pretty good. I have one, um, so you know if we end up meeting. You can by all means try it because it constantly scans between the three giant antennas and switches to the best one all the time. Right, I. We we done a two or three aircraft like this already and and Jason has done several long range drones and not had any problems so yeah. and he, he's not using a ground station I, I don't know yeah, how it works pretty good range actually with DJI yeah and I guess yeah. the diversity <coughs> antenna can come out beam form a little bit and steer the beam yeah the, the digital plate driver it's pretty good some some digital magic in there definitely it's just some nice scenery isn't it it's quite nice doing a bit of greenery after all that red rock yep which valley are we going down let's have a going right in third person mode the sound sounds really good with all these jets i bet so i downloaded the sound mod for this plane and i don't hear it <laughs> it's just it, i think it's just not quite as brutally noisy when you open the cockpit Oh, we're going left. We are going left. Hmm, call it when you see it. Still a ton of planes behind, this is a good, good group. Where'd you go? That way. Break song, is it?
He's, he's just got to try really hard. I think occasionally he sneezes and suddenly the throttle slams open. <laughs> It's getting tight now. Look at this group. So, Jason, what are your tips for close formation? How do you, how do, you do the throttle? I find that the hardest. So, the, the easiest thing to do off the start is start getting up close, using the air brake. Um, so, like, bring your throttle back to about half quarter throttle, depending, uh, well, depending on sort of things. So, you're kind of leveling. Use your air brake, potentially flaps, just to get you in line. And then you're pretty much consistently active on moving your throttle back and forward until you sort of get into roughly where you want to be. And there's a bit of lag with the jet, isn't it? So it, it, that, that seems to be quite difficult. I guess you just you must have to plan ahead by yeah. a second or two, right? I am consistently moving my throttle when I get right up on someone. I'm okay. consistently moving my throttle. Wow, okay. Because if you kind of like go like, oh, I'm going to pull back about quarter, then when you go to power up, you, you they, like you say, you've got that yeah. lag and then you end up yeah. miles behind. Okay, so you really got to plan the lagging. Nam, did you just uh, down for a drink there? It looked like you were skimming the water. Yeah, yeah, well, we've been flying for an hour and a half. I needed a quick... <laughs> <laughs> Tasted quite good. Done right. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> oh, no. That... <laughs> I'm not even going to... No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so... When I did my Outdoor Pursuits Instructors course, part of it was mountaineering. And while we were out in Wales, we were obviously filling up our water bottles and stuff like that. And the rule is, you always walk 100, 200 meters up the, up, upstream to check it. And um, you know, these guys are filling up the thing, and I remembered this, and obviously we're being evaluated, so I didn't say anything, because, you know, it's about me, not them. So I walked up upstream. They went, oh, that's not pretty. And uh, got water from above it. It turned out there was a dead sheep in the street. Oh, oh <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. That's right. You always walk upstream. Oh, that is terrible. <laughs> I feel quite sick now. <laughs> <laughs> They, they tell you what, right, there's nothing more annoying than sheep and goats when you're out doing mountain climbing because you're, like, absolutely struggling like anything, and usually it's a really obnoxious hard point. There's one of them just staring at you, and you're just looking at, like, how the hell did you even get there? <laughs> <laughs> you see these goats on the... Uh, where are they in the world? On the side of mountains. It's like... Yeah. I don't, don't know how they do it. They seem to have the capacity to climb <clears throat> sheer cliff well, faces. They, They've got the ones that climb and sleep up trees, don't they? Because it keeps them out of the way of predators. Oh, okay. But then you've got fainting goats, because they're, they're sacrificial. What about faint those fainting goats? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're sacrificial, so they were bred that way. So when a predator came into the into like a flock of sheep, the goat would pass out. The predator would go for the goat, and then the sheep would be safe. Oh. So that that is the the... The actual breed line behind why they actually created the um, the fainting goat. It doesn't actually faint; its muscles just kind of go into spasm and it falls over. Yeah, I've seen it on YouTube. It's quite funny. <clears throat> Good trip, Amarok. A little less technical than normal, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> the formation was good, though. All the way. Yeah, very good. Tell us not technical because half the guys are flying inverted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and still managing to stay, stay in formation. Yeah. So it's usually on the, um, the Everest run, it's right at the beginning of the section where it starts getting tight. That first S bend is usually what catches the most people. Yeah, out. you lose half the field at that point. Oh, I've just desync, desync, desync. Oh, you've oh. all, all gone. Everyone. Get some glitching out. Let's do a. Um, yeah, a everyone disappeared. Oops. All of a sudden, I feel very lonely. 
Just carry on down the valley, I guess. Oh, he said. Oh. Don't know when he said that. Europe is at 108 ping. Talk to me, Goose. <laughs> They went quiet, didn't they, when all the engines went off? Yeah, did you know? It did, yeah. I can still see Donut Man 3982. Yeah, there's a little gang behind us, but all the lead pack has uh, disappeared. So I'm just carrying on up the lock. Yeah, I'm assuming there's a landing space here somewhere. We just passed one. Uh, Amarok just swore on the... <laughs> I, uh, he just Jason, swore on the YouTube chat. Yeah, carry on. Jason, by landing space, do you mean a, a runway? Yeah. Any space will do. <laughs> I just went IFR as well, which isn't ideal. What's that, James? I thought that was something to do with having kids. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's out of here. <laughs> uh, where are we then? Halfway. We're halfway. Right, okay. EG29 is north. Yeah, should we be heading in that direction? Generally, yeah, I'm flown up, up, up the oh, lock. Oh, oh, William coming up. Looks like there's a left turn. Yeah, are you doing left turn? Yep. I think I'm heading north. <coughs> And maybe everyone will magically reappear in a second. Yeah. Look map for the Glenfinnan viaduct, he says. I don't have points of interest on. Yeah, I've not got a clue. I've gone high to see, hopefully I can see some people. Um you won't do. Following the uh the lock, the the river. Well, following round to the left. Turn left here and go west, he says. Yeah, the, weather, the weather's gone bad as well on live weather. <laughs> yeah, f he west heading is following the the lake, the river. Sorry. Turn right when you see the viaduct. I'm about to run out of lock. Yeah, same. Yeah, I see the, the viaduct's in five nautical miles. I'm heading straight for it if you turn left. Yeah, got it. Fortunately, there was a fueling jet ahead, so I just walked into him and refueled. Oh, yeah, see the viaduct. I don't. You right can fly under it as well. It can't hurt you. It's it's a slight right at the end. Um, as you come to the end of the lock, continue straight towards. There's like um, other hills. The larger hill that's sort of slightly off right centre. Head towards that, and as you go over the viaduct, will be there. Okay, got it. I hope. So it's going to be, you'll go over, there's like a big sort of, looks like a work site to the left, and then as you go over the top of the hill, it's going to be in the little valley between the two hills. And then what was it, a right turn? Yeah. Yeah, so there's the viaduct, turn and right. Uh, I think I have missed it. Yeah, I'm not seeing it either. Where's the next port of call? I'm a rock after the uh, viaduct. Oh. He said turn right, didn't he? <coughs> After the viaduct, head north to EG28. EG29, I think it was. EG29. Yeah, just, just go straight north, he said. Oh, I'm seeing a bunch of planes. Yeah, there's a load of planes in the distance that I can see. I don't think there's any of us. They're all behind us. Okay, just head straight to E20, EG29. Oh, Vortec, I think, was one of ours, wasn't he? 
Yeah, Tony Vortex. Yeah, I can see him. And that's it. The speed break 22, one of ours? Nope. Alex Fly, is he one of us? I don't know, but I'm following that same group. Uh, no, because you got like Vampire and all that kind of stuff. No, no, they're not. That's a, that's just a load of random planes. By the look of it. Or at least okay. I'm not aware of them being with us. <laughs> Amrock says on the YouTube chat this route is always a disaster <laughs> England's just really bad for this at the moment <clears throat> anybody know what direction the runway is looks like it's north south or just off north south. I'm a couple of miles out from EG29. I think I'm the same. Oh, go I've seen... The, go past the castle. Chris Cohn has materialised. Killian Donan Castle. See you, Dom. Just appeared. Yeah. We've uh, exited the Bermuda Triangle. Yay. People are back. Got my approach path turned on, so that helps. There's Zamorak. He's there. Looks it. Got to check out the castle. Where's the castle? Relative to the airport? Just southwest, is it? Uh, southeast. Okay. South southeast. Yeah, completely lost. No one's popped back for me, just a vortex. Oh, really? Cool castle. Mm -hmm. Worth a look. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing everybody now. Oh, I think I see everyone now. You're miles ahead of me. I'm going to slew. What's the slew key? Why? Why? I was going to ask what a slew was, so I thought it was a small sort of water bowl type thing. Close. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm back on track. Inbound. Oh, rubbish. I'm off again. Oh, I'm sorry. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry, I overran the runway. <laughs> Coming at 300 knots was not a good idea. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just over 400 at the moment. Going around.
Every time I see Air Combat Dog, all I think is that time we intercepted him. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching the stream, waggle your wings. <laughs> yeah. It worked. <laughs> it did. <sighs> Get your wheels there, Alan. Touchdown. That's a pretty nice line up here. Yeah, don't park too close to the plane next year because otherwise it all starts disappearing. What happened there, Neil? You suddenly jacked up on your wheels. I, I changed my plane to red arrows for the photos. Oh, you've got indeed. the developer mode loaded up. You can, um, you can switch airports, switch planes. I better move back a bit as well, haven't I? He's still in the fracky trick calorie, didn't he? Oh, he's gone. And he's back. Guys, please, once you park, please con shift control E, because it is loud as anything when we look externally. <laughs> uh, I, I disabled that, that keyboard shortcut. Or whatever it is, you now need to turn off your engine. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Remember, that was the, uh, if I do control shift D, that um, starts my video recording. Right. And, and when I accidentally turned off the engine a few times, I thought, I need a different key set for that one. Yeah, that's my problem. To pick a different shortcut. I still got quite a few planes with us, even though we we all kind of split up and rejoined again. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it did all right. We're just going to muscle in there, Rob. Thanks, Amarok. Good trip. Shame about the desync, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, an eight, a three twenty on a pushback into ten, parking. Eleven, <laughs> twelve, thirteen. <laughs> Well, actually, no, I think that's generic. I think that might be something else. <coughs> really? Yeah, because the reverses aren't open, so I think that might be a no, generic aircraft or, or a skin. It's don it's Donut Man. It might just be a skin, then. You might have a skin on it, because I don't see the reverses open or anything. And it's, it's just green and white. That was wow. good. James Sugar just came in at, like, Mac... Three straight down. Yeah, I was, I, was, I, was, I was running late, so I thought I'd make a first, a first entry. Londa. Good trip, everyone. Enjoyed that, Indeed. Amrock. Thank you. Very Thanks good. Thanks very much, guys. I'm going to bail on you guys now. But All right. It was a lot of fun. Thanks. All yeah. right. No, it was always fun flying. See you next time. Have a good one. See you later. What's next time? God, do you think I've got a plan? <laughs> I don't know. What haven't we done for a while? We could do a bit of cities. We could, we could, uh, yeah. Paris. All right, let's do Paris then. As long as it's not England, it's all good. <laughs> Fly under the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, yeah. That ain't gonna happen. Follow, follow the river. Yeah, yeah. Pass the Arc de Triomphe, you know. All right. all right, so, um, what's the airport of Paris then? Charles de Gaulle? CDG would be good. So, Minecraft? Yeah. CD. G. Charles de Gaulle, Paris. 26R. Are we going to stay in the same planes? Don't have well, to. What, what do you think? Cruising Paris wants something a bit slower? Oh, uh, uh, we well, I mean, if you want to do a city view, being in. You could take that icon A5 and we could land on the river. Yeah. No, the icon is terrible. The <laughs> icon is, is terrible. absolutely terrible. Land on the water. We, what we need is a plane that everybody has. 
Do you know what? I think the yellow cub would be a really good idea. Or, or 172. Oh, 172. I like that plane. Funny that. <laughs> <laughs> if we can't hold formation in 172s, then we've got problems, haven't we? Yeah, I, oh, I think that should the be the way. What about the pits? By plane. Pit. Uh, that isn't a that isn't an everyone plane. Is it not? No. Yeah, it has to be. It's not. It's not an everyone plane. That is a yeah, um, the one pound subscription one. No, it's, it's in that. I'm only paying the one one quid a, a three months subscription. It's in that. I don't have that. Oh. The VR thing, I think. Once. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the Abbott pits. Yeah, I've got it. Pits by plane. Pits by yeah. plane. Pits by plane sounds good. All right. That's quite fun. Two seven too right. Fast. I'm gonna go for the yellow one. Oh. What was the airport again, sorry? There you go, Dom. Uh, Charles Gould. Charles Gould, LFPG. The runway? Oh, it's a big one. Uh, 26R. Oh. 26R. How's that head tracking app, Al? It's work in progress. It's got a lot of, uh, yeah, I'll just set it up properly. Need a decent camera, but uh, darn sight cheaper than the IR thing, but it does have its pitfalls. The for, the, for the price, though, it's pretty good. Three uh, cam for the head tracking. There was a guy who contacted me yesterday on the Discord and he was saying he's developed an app for, um, well, for Android and uh, Apple, whatever. And you just use the, is it track, it just tracks your, your face or something? He was yeah, that's what this does, Dom. This is um, face track, no IR it's called. And you, you can use a webcam or you can plug your phone <coughs> in via and it will just track it captures your eyes and your nose and uh, just uh, tracks those yeah but you need high frame rate uh, cam for, to, uh, to track so uh, i using the playstation cam for it oh, you, the... need, you, you need either a webcam or or a phone he said to me yeah, uh, like smooth old... track smooth track dot app yeah that's what i'm using uh, smooth track with my android phone and it, how does it work for you yeah. Yeah, really good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he asked me to. By the to... way, there's, hmm? there's no uh, parking brake on these, so you have to hold your brake. <laughs> yeah. I'm holding the brake. I can see Donut Man coming. I think comes oh, to to... Yep, everyone's forming up now. I'm quite low in the cockpit. I can't see over the dash. Press space bar. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I'll get off the... This is hilarious. <laughs> I, can't, I can't see anyone else. Oh, I see Donut. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Uh... Somebody didn't get the memo. And there's in an A320. <laughs> Did you say by the numbers? Amrock says he's getting his VR on. Just to say everyone's all over the place, I thought let's go by the numbers. Are we going? No, no we're just lining up on the numbers. There's a ton of, a ton of planes. I don't think the runway's going to be long enough, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> be alright. Oh, somebody's gone. Right. That My plane's got to be <laughs> totally <laughs> mental. I'm not... I'm not doing anything. Is this something crazy. Said? <laughs> well, we've got a uh, an extra. This is going to be good. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Yeah. My plans for a change. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait till we do Spitfires. I hope a lot of people do get the Spitfire. That is going to be epic. I was looking to see if they had um, other planes, but then I realised that it's, it, it's kind of a shame because obviously everyone needs to have the plane to be able to see it. Yes. I still find that a little bit guy. 
<clears throat> well, it's a bit daft that once it's on Marketplace, you can't see it. Yeah. You have to actually buy it to see it. I don't, I don't Surely they'd, they'd sell more if people could see what other people Exactly. This is what we said last time. If you could physically see what people were flying around in, people are like, oh, that looks cool. They would buy it, yeah. Right, are we ready? Looks that way. All right. Um, I'll lead then. So, so we need to go southwest to get to central Paris. Just looking on the map. Good. And we're off. We're off. Paris Oak. Tally ho! This should be good for formation uh, aerobatics. Some loops. Lost where's? Lost a dog already. Where is it? Oh, it's off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> what? It was kind of slow, didn't it? Yeah, this would be good for our bags. Flaps up. <laughs> yeah. I actually pressed the button then. <laughs> <laughs> Gear up. <laughs> oh, I don't know about flying this together. <laughs> flying this information. Oh, lag. <laughs> what did you say, Southwest, Neil? Yes, Southwest. <laughs> Where's my compass? Uh, top centre. Oh, Turn yeah. left a bit. Turn left about 45 degrees. One does not simply turn left in a performance biplane. <laughs> Knife edge left. <laughs> oh, there's not enough road to knife edge. There is. I'm going down. <laughs> no, there isn't. In the in the, even in the extra, there isn't. And if you tried knife edge in the MB339, it doesn't even that it doesn't do it either. Oh, there's the Eiffel Tower. I don't know if that would in general, but yeah, no, it doesn't. Oh no, I suppose it does because it is a performance aircraft, isn't it? They do use it for the shows. Yeah. Frecatricolori. Head for the Eiffel it's Tower. On this plane. Yeah, Eiffel Tower. Let's go there. Oh, apparently Camerox game isn't loading. So everyone's been uh, constantly trimming nose down since they took off. Yes! Yeah. Where is the trim tab on this thing? I'm just, I've got it set up on my stick, thankfully. Oh, that was the fuel cough. Oh, I didn't realise it's got a um, uh, a hole in the floor. Yeah, it's for watching the lines because you can't see over the nose, so you can taxi down centre. I just didn't look down until now. <laughs> it's like <laughs> my down. like my first mini. What hole in the floor? <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> rust. My Is um, my old legacy GT Turbo was like that. You can see the uh, carpet on the inside of the car from the outside of the car. Nice. Start seeing the sides now. If you can see over the cockpit, you can see a bit of Sacre Coeur and the Louvre. We're quite scattered. I think we uh, we should try and form up a bit. All right. We're pretty high as well. What are you doing all the way up there? <laughs> well, we're concentrating on trimming out the whole time. Alright, I'm going to hold 50% throttle. Same. And, uh, Dive! 2,000 <laughs> feet, I'm going to go down to 2,000 feet. And I'm at about 150 knots. If anyone wants a tour. Hold on, let's see who's who. Uh, Badger, I see North. Oh, you're ahead of me. Catch you up, Neil. <coughs> I'll drop down a bit lower, go down to 1500. It's not great yeah. for visibility, is it? The pits. No. Right on the external camera. <laughs> oh, I and that from a full size pilot. You know. oh, this is, I'm, I'm, I'm using an RC controller. <laughs> oh. Why? Why? 
Jason, you're, you're just passing underneath me. It's better than the Xbox controller. Yeah, I see it. Oh. So we all gonna fly under the tower? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's a shame about copyright strikes. Now would be a good time for flight the Valkyries. <laughs> Bit of barnstorming as an A320 joins formation. <laughs> First one was the Sacre Maybe we can get between the, the dome and the bell tower on knife edge. What do you reckon? Uh, yeah, if you can see it. Oh, there we go. Much better formation. Yeah, way better down here. Here we go. Except for my poor frame rate. Close to the tower. <laughs> Oh, the 320 touched! Oh, I touched. <laughs> it's going in. He's, he's flat spin. He's inverted. I'm looking the car. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that'll teach him. <laughs> I caught that. That was brilliant. Mm. Right, so now, what's next? Um, over the second. Over that's the Louvre, isn't that? Yeah, over the pyramid. Down the river a bit, and then under the Eiffel Tower. Try it from this angle, see if it works. It's definitely possible from the uh, from the south. Here we go, Chris is diving in. He's gonna make it. Ooh. Okay, I'm avoiding that, I just watched so many people bounce. Oh that's good. No, it worked perfectly, it's smooth. Beautiful. And that's still a loop over the top. <laughs> that's crazy talk. Full power, full power. Ooh, ooh. Inverted over the Eiffel Tower. Oh no, oh, I just messed it up. That was quite hard. Alright, I'm going to go um, oh, down, oh. down the green park. Speed stall. Towards the end, and then turn back around and go under again. Um, going back in now. I failed the loop. I'm going to go for a drone style power loop, so I'll be right close. Here we go. Go yeah, that makes sense. There's a cell site on top of the Eiffel Tower. That, that That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> I'd hate to have to work on that. Power loop successful. That's looking good in your stream, Dom. Yeah. you got, you got a powerful enough PC to make the, the high detail look good. Imagine anyone else might be flying around seeing oh, why is there a ton of biplanes suddenly <laughs> <laughs> at the airport tower? Whee! Through! There's any bridges here we can go under as well. Right, next up we're going to go to the uh, Arch of Triumph. I don't know if you can fly under that. But, like, no, I've know. tried flying through that. It's a nightmare. Oh no, doesn't it work? 747. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go back down the green uh, Where space are you? behind the Eiffel Tower. I'm trying I'm to find you. Turn. And then we'll go under the Eiffel Tower and, and follow through to the, uh, to the Arch Trio. Oh, there you are. So I'm taking a, a long run up to the Eiffel Tower. Tight turn now. Okay. Heading north, northwest. Up to the tower. And if you head northwest from here, we should go to the uh, Montreal Center. They've put in the center, haven't they? I'm trying to remember. Under the tower inverted. Oh, yeah. 320 going in. Again. 320 is going to fail at this rate. Oh. Uh, he made it. Through? Yeah, yeah, he's through. Now, I think that's worth a Google to the wingspan of a 320 and the space underneath the Eiffel Tower. Yes. 
Doesn't sound right to me. This is a tricky approach to Arc de Triomphe. There's a few people going under the Arc de Triomphe. Oh, uh, and not. they're crashing into it. Oh no, Alan, Alan Paul got through. But Isn't this the roundabout that your insurance is invalid on? This is this is a fun roundabout. Is it like, is it like eight lanes or something? There's a, there's a lot of crazy planes flying around the Arctic Triumph. All right, I'm going to fly fly up to the Grand Palais and turn around and come back. Yes, because all of us are that culture that we know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> and the Louvre. Could, well, could, I, could you uh, lay it down for us? Yes, uh, I had tea <laughs> there <laughs> last weekend. <laughs> Can we get through it? I get. Do you know the Queen? <laughs> <laughs> Triumph, it is doable. Is it? Alright. Yeah, yeah. What, th straight through or knife edge? Straight through the middle. Flat. Alright. Nice, just nice straight run up. Turning at the Louvre. Definitely doable. Once I got lucky. Let's have a look. Going back through. Yep, flat. No no gear down. No no weirdness. Yeah. Well, I mean, so it clears down. Well, there is that. But I mean, yeah, sometimes it, you get these weird sounds like you just put the park and brakes on. Yeah, no right, straight through, no contact. But not this time. Here we go, Arc de Triomphe. Oh. Okay, head on. Come the other way. Let's do one of those really cool red arrows things where we just. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wee! And can he go through the other way? Straight away. Oh no, he's gone in. <laughs> All right. Next challenge: invert through the. Uh, it, all right. Was that an inverted through there? That's your challenge. I'm going to go in it via a bunt. A who? Outward loop. Aha, oh, yes, yes. Alright, online. Do we want to have to again? Down is up, up is down, how does it work again? Completed! Down yeah, roll up, out, don't pull up. <laughs> up is up, down is up, down is down. <laughs> oh, no, you are not going to make it if you're saying that. <laughs> I didn't make it. I landed on the roof, though. <laughs> Down is up. Oh. Uh, I was flying for nearly two hours straight. So, yeah, it doesn't work anymore. Sounds about time for the Everest run. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I need to a new challenge. Here we go. Oh, you no. said that, but there was the one the other day when we did the Everest run and all the everything. We were flying for about four and a bit hours. That was, that was a session, wasn't it? Mad. I'm going to Catch you later. That was See good fun. All right, James. Cheers, yeah. mate. And you failed. <laughs> He's vertically parked, that 8320, apparently 747, inside the, of the tree on. <laughs> <laughs> right, up is down, up is up. While Rob is having a feel for the roundabout. I suppose that would mean you would probably see the magic roundabout in Swindon then, wouldn't you, from the air? Oh! No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you failed! <laughs> <laughs> Nearly! Oh, here comes the A320. Don't be silly. <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? Well, I'm going to try once more. That's mm. very much a square peg round hole situation going on there, Aaron. <laughs> he can't. He's going no. faster. He's going to force his way through. Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, it, it doesn't fit, man. I think I think we should we should follow Rob's thing and everyone land on the roundabout. <laughs> yeah, let's get a picture on the roundabout. Let's scream. <laughs> what should we go Eiffel Tower? I don't think there's enough room for as many pilots as we got. Well, we can get on the roundabout. We should, we should all kind of go nose to tail and do a little laps around. Out of the way, Amrock. I'm coming through. 
My fridge laps around the roundabout. Can we do it? The weird one is landing on a circular runway. Oh, yes! Inverted! <laughs> Didn't see it, Dom. Actually, <laughs> 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 it was very impressive. <laughs> um, and, nope. <laughs> Tell you what, Amarok, try going faster. Yeah. <laughs> Mac 5 or bust. I'm liking doing laps up there. I'm getting a bit dizzy now. I'm on the ground. You can, you can do it in the air, look at this. You've Oops. got to try and follow the roundabout round to the right and land while circuiting. Are we going the right way? <laughs> no, it's not our fault if they've got their roundabouts wrong, is it? Alright, landing. Oh, what's going on? North East FPV has landed upside down. Where are you? Uh, F4 to go. <laughs> Look at you lot. How'd you go down? Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, apparently, we're um, we're now having a race around the roundabout on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong way. Rob overtook me, and I've got to take it back. He's on the inside. He's on the inside. Rob's got a fish tail on. Too fast. Your wing over. I'll switch to overcat. Uh, okay, I'm taking off. <laughs> Gotta get a picture of this. Oh, it's gone wide. He's done it. He's done it. I've got the lead. Hold on, hold on. Drifting a biplane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no, I've got too fast. <laughs> Centrifuges. God, the noise that made when you impacted then, Amarok. <laughs> Oh, Dom has joined the ground race. Getting a slide on. Opposite aileron. <laughs> mm. I've got an articulated lorry on my outside. And there's the overtake. <laughs> Some random is just going to fly past and be like, what on earth is going on down there? It's a ritual. Oh, he's taking him back. <laughs> oh, that corner cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is getting silly. The rear oh, racing <laughs> pipe blades around around. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. <laughs> so where's uh, where to? Well, we should all stop and get a photo anyway. All right. In front of the uh, Art Triumph. Yeah, Can't really forget turn it without a throttle. Yeah. No uh, parking brake. You can once you're really slow, Rob. Oh crap. <laughs> Which side are we calling in front? It's sunny side. <laughs> well, it depends what we got. I'm impaled in it and can't reverse. Just um, Y, F4, and then land again. Number number pad keys. But I land again. I'm... Oh, come on. What's going on? Yeah, I'll press Y, and then um, you can use the number pad to move left, right, forward. Oh, it's one in three, isn't it, as well? You can rotate round. Seven and eight is roll, which is a very odd experience. All right, coming around now. All right, parked up. <coughs> I'll shut the motor down so I don't go away. I'll, I'll get a picture of the uh, Eiffel Tower in the background as well. How do you stop the damn thing? You got to hold up brake, and then when you get to where you want to be, just control shift D and shut your motor down. There's no park brake. God, nightmare. Hey. Oh, that's, that's definitely a plus one on the silliness levels. Brilliant.
Looks like we're down to 10. What do you do to shut down engine? Control E. Control Shift E. Or you can turn the key. Otherwise, it will always try and roll away. American cars driving around Paris. It's big American SUVs and trucks. Ooh. Were we doing something else quickly after this? Can do. Let's do a landing challenge. You know, there's, there's, um, Where we? Your, um, your big wheel planes, what are they called again? Stall planes. Yeah. We oh, yeah. yeah. Alright, um. Well, I'd recommend our second landing strip at Lukla. Oh, the one halfway up the mountain? No, you know when we came out turn right and we found that one straight away? Yeah, the one halfway yeah. up. Well, I wouldn't call it halfway up on a 30,000 foot mountain. With the... Wait, sorry, it's half... With, with the stall planes? Uh, stall high. planes? Single, oh, yeah, no, it's, it's nowhere near that high. It's, it's literally about the same altitude as Lukla. Okay. Maybe a little bit higher. All right, we'll follow. Uh, was that a VNLK? Yeah, VNLK. And then um, some manner of stall plane, I guess. I loaded up the uh, special ones you told me about. I like the realism mod as well. You want the one with the four blade prop? I, I tell you, that thing flies so well, and it's so well modelled. Savage gravel. Yeah. The vertical performance is amazing. Oh, let's go for the red one. Oh no, let's go for the Coast Guard one. I'll do. So red's the one I always use. Oh, all right. You do that all the... Is it six? It's my plane. <laughs> Six or twenty-four, I guess. Twenty-four, isn't it? Yeah, twenty-four. Fly. Oh, the live weather is terrible. Scattered clouds it is. Explain uh, are we taking? So we're using a mod plane, which is the Savage Gravel. So the Savage Cup, any of the like high wing stall planes, even the Cessna is fine if you want to use it. All right, I'm loaded in. Am I? Who's that doing donuts? <laughs> Just hold the brakes. <laughs> We're looking good. Good few mount planes here. Flaps. Flaps to full. Handbrake released, footbrake on. Everyone ready? I think we're good. All right. Power on. Take off.
<laughs> Straight up. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to be turning immediately right, so flaps away, right wing down. Watch an airmark fall off the side of a mountain in whatever it is he's flying. What's he flying uh, this time? It's something big. I can't tell what it is from here. B748. You throttle back a bit. Yep, yeah, half power. Hundred knots at most. Hundred ten even. I shall hit the brakes. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that you can cobra and maneuver this plane. <laughs> hit the brakes and he flew right by. So we're carrying on straight up. You should see it. It's like Sangbushi Airport, or Sangbush, however you say it. Bullshit. It is a little um, dirt strip with no forgiveness at either end of it. And you get plenty of turbulence off the mountain as you're trying to stall your way in. I just got intercepted by whatever that was. <laughs> Hammer rocks. What are we at? It's 110 knots in an A320. Of course. <laughs> Oh, you'd Is be he going to make it? You'd be surprised. He did. He made it. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to have to climb now to get to the landing site. Power on. Uh, Alan. The landing strip is to your left and on top of that ridge, you need to climb. Hello! <laughs> Alan! Alan! Alright then, there's the landing strip to our left. Power off, flaps out, nah. brakes on. Not too much of the brakes, you'll be uh, nosing over. No, not physical brakes, as in hitting the brakes with the flaps. Amarok, if that wasn't nose down, I said that was a half decent landing. <laughs> Cool. Could have done that in an MB. Well, this was the when we were talking about the MB landing challenges. This is what I was on about with the dual landing. That'd be mm. the uh, take off at Luca, land here, take off here, land Luca. Yeah, but you can't do donuts in an MB. 
<laughs> You've just heard him throttle up behind us. <laughs> yeah, the wheel braking on these are pretty good. And Jake's flipped. <laughs> oh. Jake, why are you flying? You're a Cherokee for me. I'm in the uh, Freedom Box. Really? I have that plane. Why are you a... That's weird. I have that plane in that livery. I don't understand why I wouldn't be able to see you. So back to Lukla? Back to Lukla. All right. I'll call it a day after that, I think. Why are you turning so, around? There's plenty of runway in front of you. No, no, because you've got to do the fun bit and go up to the edge of the mountain and then we're going to fall off. Oh. It's like the old um, paragliding, you know, you just kind of step off the side of the mountain. Don't then, do it, Jason, don't do it. <laughs> there we go. And then you just go full power and dive the valley all the way back to Luca. <laughs> what is that guy doing? <clears throat> Got some speed shakes there. Yeah, it's, it's that buzzing sound as well from the flutter. I'm going to attempt a loop within the valley. Uh-huh. So I'm going to go up this wall and try and see if I can do a complete loop without hitting the other side. Oh, easy. So the landing challenge here in the Stoll Plains is to not use any of the ramped part of Lucas Airport and actually to land in parking. <laughs> of course. Easy. Of course. So anyone who's joined for the stall, this, when we've gone out stalling, that, that's what we do. We literally aim straight at the parking, all the parking position, get the lines. Oh, they one at a time well, then. Amarok reckons it's easy for him as well. I'm not sure if he's talking about the loop or the landing, but I'll be impressed to see that 20 landing parking. <laughs> Straight up for the, um, what was it, Saturday, we, we seem to run out of steam a bit early Saturday. Oh, he's gone for the loop. We did, yeah. Yeah. It was a sunny bounce after that, surely, surely everyone was out. I think that was the big difference. Yeah, beautiful day out. Yeah. I love saying it when people fly off and you just see the experimental tail. Experimental aircraft are amazing, but we do not get them in England. No, I'd have one if we did. I just watched the YouTube video of a guy who bought a miniature pit. He looked like he was flying a Hot Wheels car. <laughs> and it flies, does it? Yeah, it's, it's effectively an ultralight. Oh. But it, it's designed like a Pitts Python. I mean, there's like, have you not seen the... Um, there's an F-22, effectively a real ducted fan, <laughs> like, like plane. Has anyone got a wind direction at Lukla? 
Uh, no. Okay. Aiming for parking now. I tell you, this is actually quite a challenging approach. Because I can't see parking through these trees. Right on the horn already. I swear, if I tip stall now, I won't be happy. Here we go. Over the wall. Flare. Down. Beautiful. In. Yeah. Did yeah, you yeah. go up, up the runway? No, I landed directly at parking. Technically, I went through the fire engine, but we won't talk about that. Oh. What am I doing? I do like this savage gravel. It's, it's got so much power, you can just pulse the throttle all the way down. It's great. It is so good. Definitely one of the favourite planes on here. I wish they'd done a little bit better when they modelled the Kit Fox. Oh, Amarok, so close. <laughs> so close. <laughs> That's an impressive strong wall, though. <laughs> yeah, I think it was more the mountain that stopped him. Oh, that's a wall, though. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my God, boy. <laughs> Here comes Dom. That's high and fast. That's high and fast. That's a tip stall. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> he landed. There you go. <laughs> Jake's hit the uh, tower. Oh, he's in. He's no, now out. part yeah, of the mountain. <laughs> Jake's hanging off the control tower. Rock arrestor. Rowdy is in an experimental something. And I've just seen somebody slew mode up vertical. <laughs> right, chaps, it's been a pleasure. I'm going to call it a day. Yeah, no, that was awesome. That was, uh, that, that was nice. That was good fun. So thanks again, and I uh, hope to see you Saturday. <laughs> A320 belly flop. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you, Dom. That's good. Yeah, it's good fun. Thank you for the trips, yeah. chaps. Yeah. Catch you later. See you next yeah, time. Enjoy well. the rest Thank of your week. You Cheers. Take care. Have a good week. I'm going to stay on the audio here for a little bit. If, you, if anyone else wants to fly for maybe a little bit longer, half an hour. Yeah, I think um, I'm just going gonna, gonna to end my stream as well. And... Uh, we go from there, so I'll be back with you guys in two seconds. Where are we going? How about E45 in the California mountains? Echo 4-5. It should be Pine Mountain Lake. Sounds good. In the uh, gravel pubs.